We continue covering Colorado first in Greeley tonight, where voters are looking ahead to the November election in our state's newest congressional district. Voters will elect a representative from Colorado's new 8th congressional district. Covers a huge area from much of Denver's northern suburbs up to Fort Collins and east to Greeley. Our Tori Mason reports on a key demographic that could decide the race. A lot of eyes are going to be on the race for Colorado's 8th Congressional District. It has national importance. Right now, Latinos make up 39% of Greeley and less than half are registered to vote. We may go door to door. In fact, I think we will go door to door. It's a small group that could have a huge impact on the nation. They live in one of the most competitive districts for a U.S. House seat, and they want more Latinos at the polls. I think there was just frustration. We were practically gerrymandered with the last district we had in CD4, and I think a lot of Latinos gave up. Sunica's training volunteers to turn them back into voters. Only 20% of Latinos in Greeley are registered. I think that they're overlooked more often than not. Volunteers like Kimber Watson recognize being heard isn't always that simple. I just came from Texas and I have never seen voter suppression like I had there and I want to make a difference. These circulators are ready to address the barriers many of their neighbors face here. She was wanting him to register to vote. He, she, he thought she was talking about insurance. If Latinos in the 8th show up in November, they'll have the numbers to make significant shifts in power. Sunica wants to show them their strength. You're doing yourself a disservice because you're not letting your interests be represented, and that's your right to do so. So that registration drive is made up of a nonpartisan group, and they tell me they're going to be out here in Greeley getting people registered right up until the election. Reporting in Greeley, I'm Tori Mason, covering Colorado First.